many of you remember a scene like this? Saturday night was as welcome as a dose of measles to those who had to take this squatting down. How about it, son? But American inventive genius soon brought about progress in bath equipment. Here we see the inventor of the shower bath about to take off for a trial ducking. And oh boy, is that water cold. The gay 90s contributed this elegant zinc-plated tub with shiny golden oak sides. And contributed to the first bathroom tenor, complete with handlebar mustache. More progress, this porcelain tub of 25 years ago. This antiquated specimen, uh, the tub we bean, is but one of the millions that are rapidly being replaced with modern equipment. Here, for instance, is a modern built-in tub with overhead shower. You can have your choice of a spray or a complete immersion. Even moderate-priced homes now enjoy the comforts of bathing facilities like this. And if you want the very top in bathroom furnishings, look at this. A basin of black marble with a triple mirror for milady and a glass-enclosed shower stall. It's a far cry from the old wooden tub by the kitchen stove. This advertisement never appeared in a newspaper, but it does condense into a few words the present housing needs in this country. Population increase, obsolescence of present dwellings, and crowded housing conditions make millions of new homes necessary. Nearly 49% of present houses are over 20 years old. Almost 43% have no central heating plant. Over 23% have no bathtub or shower. 33% have no hot water system. The remedy for this almost unbelievable housing situation lies in new homes. And for the first time in many years, this remedy is being applied in all sections of the country. Here are a few of the thousands of homes that are springing up under the impetus of the National Housing Act. Homes that are well designed, soundly built, giving lasting comfort to their new owners. Under these roofs, Americans can live as Americans should. These pleasant, helpful surroundings provide the background that young Americans need and deserve. These are not just houses, shells for warmth and protection from the elements. They are far more than that. Each is the center of a new family life, a symbol of the new America. Become a part of it. Share in the prideful independence and new happiness that goes hand in hand with modern home ownership. Do you know how far your pay will go in buying a house? It may surprise you to learn that you can become a homeowner even on a small salary with the National Housing Act insured mortgage. For instance, a 20% down payment and $40 a month will buy an attractive bungalow like this. It's not large but ample for a small family for it contains two bedrooms. The living room is in the center with the sun porch behind it. And on the other side, the dinette, the kitchen, the garage and porch. Now if you can afford to spend a little more, say $60 a month, a house like this is within your reach. Here the living room is in the center, with the study behind it. In the left wing are two bedrooms and two baths, one opening on the foyer. In the right wing, we have the dining room, the kitchen, and attached garage. A porch and terrace complete the structure. The monthly payment on a really large house like this would be approximately $80 a month, but you certainly get plenty for your money. Opening from the hall are the living room and the library, with the maid's room and bath in the rear. The dining room, kitchen, and garage complete the first floor. Upstairs, the center hall is flanked on one side by the master's bedroom and bath, then the guest room and a bath. On the other side, a nursery and connecting bedroom. These are but a few examples of the homes your income can buy.
To each of the peoples of the world, the word home has a different meaning. For instance, to millions of Chinese, it means a boat like this, on which they work, eat, sleep, spend their entire existence. But in the frozen north, snow is the only building material, hence the Eskimo igloo. While these are just holes in the ground to us, they are home sweet home to some desert sheep, for this is the way some Arabian tribes live. The many canals of Holland are lined with houses like these, the homes of the thrifty Dutch. The more famous canals of Venice reflect the artistry of a long gone aristocracy. Venetians were living in houses like these and riding in boats like this centuries before America was discovered. Crowded living conditions like this in our own country are rapidly being replaced by modern community structures. Grouped around spacious, beautifully landscaped courts, these distinctively designed apartment buildings offer those who prefer community living many of the features of a private house, combined with the convenience of an apartment. The kitchens are small, but they have every convenience, including electric refrigeration. And the washing machines, electric mangle, and gas dryer in this laundry are available to all the tenants. For the children, plenty of play space, sunshine, and fresh air, typical of the modern American trend, better living for all citizens.